Rummins, read by Jessica Hines. The sun was up over the hills now, and the mist had cleared, and it was wonderful to be striding along the road with a dog in the early morning, especially when it was autumn, with the leaves changing to gold and yellow, and sometimes one of them breaking away and falling slowly, turning slowly over in the air, dropping noiselessly right in front of him onto the grass beside the road. There was a small wind up above, and he could hear the beeches rustling and murmuring like a crowd of people. This was always the best time of the day for Claude Cubbage. He gazed approvingly at the rippling, velvety hindquarters of the greyhound trotting in front of him. Jackie, he called softly. Hey, Jackson, how you feeling, boy? The dog half turned at the sound of its name and gave a quick, acknowledging wag of the tail. There would never be another dog like this Jackie, he told himself. How beautiful, slim, streamlining, the small, pointed head, the yellow eyes, the black, mobile nose. Beautiful, the long neck, the way the deep brisket curved back and up out of sight into no stomach at all. See how he walked upon his toes, noiselessly, hardly touching the surface of the road at all. Jackson, he said. Good old Jackson. In the distance... Claude could see the Rummins farmhouse, small, narrow and ancient, standing back behind the hedge on the right-hand side. I'll turn round there, he decided. That'll be enough for today. Rummins, carrying a pail of milk across the yard, saw him coming down the road. He set the pail down slowly and came forward to the gate, leaning both arms on the topmost bar, waiting. Morning, Mr Rummins, Claude said. It was necessary to be polite to Rummins because of eggs. Rummins nodded and leaned over the gate, looking critically at the dog. Looks well, he said. He is well. When's he running? Don't know, Mr Rummins. Come on, when's he running? He's only ten months yet, Mr Rummins. He's not even school properly, honest. The small beady eyes of Rummins peered suspiciously over the top of the gate. I wouldn't mind betting a couple of quid you're having it off of him somewhere secret soon. Claude moved his feet uncomfortably on the black road surface. He disliked very much this man with the wide frog mouth, the broken teeth, the shifty eyes. And most of all, he disliked having to be polite to him because of the eggs. That hayrick of your... Sample complete. Ready to continue?